Hi friends, today we're going to be reading a fun book, The Day the Crowns Quit. Here's our title page. The title of the book is The Day the Crowns Quit. The author is Drew DeWalt and the illustrator is Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crowns and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crown. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crowns. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. Oh, I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas, Christmas, and all the hearts at Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your ever-worked friend, <sighs> Red Crown. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crown for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the line soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crown. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crown. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Crown. Duncan, gray crown here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crown. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crown. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crowns. How about a black beach ball sometimes? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crown. Dear Duncan, as Green Crown, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends Yellow Crown and Orange Crown who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crowns feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crown. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crown here. I need you to tell Orange Crown that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. 
And I can prove I'm the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page one. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crown. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crown already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun, because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crown. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before, and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is, I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crown box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crown. Duncan? Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister, I said thank you, for using me to color her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometimes to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crown. Psst. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crown. Why did you peel off the paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crown box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help, your naked friend, Peach Crown. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crowns to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. Friends, we have a few challenges for you today. If you don't have a writing area set up in your house, today could be a really good day to do that. We've included some tips written above. Also, we're gonna sing the pinch song for you to remind you how to hold the pen or the pencil. And Mrs. Godwin has a special challenge for writing in something different.